Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, now we are continue to our new topic in division. Okay, now in standard 2, we only learn the basic fact about division and we now today we want to learn a inverse operation between division and multiplication. Now we're going to the first slide. Okay, for today, I have only around 10 slides. Right, okay. Now the first slide, okay, I have star one star, two star, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, six star. Okay, now I want to divide six star equally into two groups. Okay, there are three star in each group. Okay, okay now I want to show you. So I have six star here. I want to divide six star equally into two groups okay so there are three star in each group so we must have two group first okay because they already said that into two groups divide equally into two groups okay now we do the group first okay, i have one group two groups okay now they already said that there are three stars in each group. Okay, I repeat. There are three stars in each group. So that means we must put the star inside this group. Three stars for each group. So one here, one here, one here. Okay. Now we show you something. Okay, I put one star here and then I cross here. I put another star, I cross again, put another star and I cross again. So, we already use three star because they want three star in each group. So, we have another three star. So, we put here one star, two star and three star. So, we have already three star in each group and we don't have any star left. Here, okay, we already use all the six star here. So, how to write the number sentence for these kinds of question? It's a very easy. So, they already, six, they already said that divide six star equally into two groups. Okay, so the number sentence will be like this six divided by two, answer is three. So, six is ten for all of six star here i repeat six ten for all six star here okay six ten for all star okay two stand for two groups okay three star for three star in each group okay very easy, okay? Six for all star, two for two group, three stand for three star in each group, okay? Three stand for three star in each group. It's very easy to understand. Okay, we're going up to the next slide. Okay, I have a paint brush here. So how many paint brush? So let's we come together. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So I have 12 paint brush here. So now we'll let you see the question. Okay, group 12 paint brush in 4. There are 3 groups of paint brush. I repeat, group 12 paint brush in 4. There are 3 groups of Paint brush. So that means we must have three group of paint brush. So we must have three group of paint brush. Okay, it's a very easy question. So now the first thing you must do is do the group first. One group, two groups, and three group of here. Okay, now we must put four paint brush in each group so one so i put on here eh? 
two, cut three and four. So we already use four paint brush here. Now we take another paint brush. One, two, three and four. We cut again. So one, two, three and four paint brush here all together. So we don't have any less paint brush here. So the answer will be correct lah because no paint brush left. Okay, so now how to write the number sentence for this question? So the answer will be 12 divided by 3 equals to 4. Okay, now I repeat again 12, 10 for all 12 paint brush here. 3, 10 for Three group of paint brush here. Four stand for four paint brush in each group. Never mind. Okay. Twelve stand for twelve. All paint brush here. All paint brush here. Twelve paint brush. Three stand for three groups of paint brush. Four stand for four paint brush in each group. Okay, understand? Now we go to the next slide. Okay, here we have a chicken. Okay, how many chicken here? Okay, we count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chicken here all together. So let me see the question. Okay, group eight chicken in two. They are four groups of chicken. I repeat, group eight chicken in two. They are four group of chicken. So that means we must have four group of chicken. Okay, so the first thing you must do is what? Okay, now we must to do the group first. So one group. Two groups, three groups, and then four groups here. So now, how many chicken I must put into in each group? Okay, we must put two chicken in each group. Okay, they already state here. See, two chicken in each group. So put one. Two and then we count down two chicken. One, two. Okay, cut another two chicken. One, two. Okay, cut another two chicken. One and two. So we don't have any chicken left here. Okay, how to write the number sentence for this kind of question? So eight divided by how many groups? Four. Okay, then equals to how many chicken in each group? Two. Okay, I repeat. The number sentence should be like this. Eight, ten for eight chicken here all together. Divided by the number of chicken in each group. And then the answer will be two. Eight stand for all chicken. Four stand for groups. Two for each group. Okay. Very easy to understand. So the next question, I have butterfly here. So how many butterfly here all together? So we come together. It's a one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve butterfly here. So let's see the question. There are twelve butterfly. Four butterfly are put into a container. Uh, they don't state any group for this question. There are 12 butterfly. 4 butterfly put into a container. So how to do the question? Because they don't state any group for this kind of 
question. Okay, the first thing you must to do, okay, you cut down four in each group. Very easy. One, two, three, four. Okay, one group. One, two, three, four. Two groups. One, two, three, four. So how many groups? Now we must have three groups here. So do the group first. One. Okay. Ah, therefore three containers are needed. Very good. Okay, now we're going up to three containers here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. The number sentence should be like this. 12 stand for all 12 butterfly here. And then divided by 3 group of butterfly equals to how many butterfly in each group? And then the answer will be 4 butterfly in each group. Okay. I repeat again. Okay, 12, 10 for all butterfly here all together. Divided by how many group of butterfly? Three group of butterfly. The answer will be four butterfly in each group. Understand or not? It's very easy going to the next slide. Okay, what is this? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Now we have a paintbrush in three groups. Each group of paintbrush, we have four here. So the question, okay, we do the number sentence first. So the question is, the topic is about the inverse operation. Okay, never mind, I just edit here. The inverse operation for multiplication and division. Okay. Okay, it is very important to understand that multiplication and division are inverse operation. That's it. If you carry out a particular calculation, for example, division will be undo the original calculation. For example, let me see the paintbrush here. Okay. We have a paintbrush here. Now we have three group of paintbrush and all paintbrush here we have 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So we have all 12 paintbrush here all together. So now we have three group and four paintbrush in each group. So now if we write this number sentence for division, the answer will be like this. Okay, 12 divided by 3 equals to 4. 3 stand for, okay, never mind. 3 stand for groups. Okay, 4, 4. Okay. Now, if we write the number sentence for uh, the number sentence for multiplication, okay, never mind, I will edit for you. Okay. The number sentence for multiplication, the three must come first because in multiplication, group must come first. Okay, I repeat, in multiplication, group must come first. Okay. I mind I write for you. The three stand for, wait, huh? three stand for groups. Four stand for each group. All paint brushes all together. Now we see the difference between division and multiplication. Okay, in division, the all paint brush must be in front. Okay, but in multiplication, the all paintbrush must be behind. Okay, in multiplication, group must come first. Okay, in division, group must be in the middle. And then, 
for each group number must be behind for division and the multiplication must be in the middle one. It's very easy because you're terbali only lah. Okay? Now we do the other question. I have one container, two container and three container here. So I put one butterfly, two butterfly, three and four butterfly. Four butterfly in each group. So now I want to make a number sentence for division first. So I have all 12 butterfly here. And then what number must be in the middle? Who knows? Okay. The group must be in the middle. The group must be in the middle. So how many groups here? Okay, we have three groups of butterfly and how many butterfly in each group? We have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the answer will be four butterfly in each group. So now in multiplication, the first thing you must put in front is the group first. How many group? Okay, three group of butterfly. Time. So, how many butterflies in each group? Four butterflies in each group. And how many butterflies here all together is? Twelve. It's very easy to understand actually. Okay. I have one group, two groups, and one star, two star, three star. So, I have a two group of three star here. So, all star here should be six. So we come together. So one, two, three, four, five, six star here all together. So I must write. So I want to write this uh, star for the division first. Okay, so we have all six star here together divided into two groups. So we must put two groups. And then we must put how many star in each group. So we have three star in each group. Okay, now we must. Uh, write the number sentence for multiplication. So we have two group of stars. So group must come first. The times by how many star in each group. So we have three star for each group. And then we have six star here all together. Okay. I repeat. It's too fast. Okay. Okay. I repeat. Six ten four. All six star here all together. Three stand for two group of star and three stand for three star in each group. Two times by three. Two stand for two group of star. Three stand for three star in each group. And six for all six star here all together. So now we can look the difference between division. Oh, I'm sorry. How to do so division and a multiplication. Okay, the difference is this one. You might look this one, this one, and this one. You look the different one. Okay. Senang je, dia terbalik-terbalik je. So we do to the next one. Ah. If you get the question for division or multiplication, you must look at here. This is the same operation actually, but it's a inverse operation. For example, I have 12 times 1. Okay, 12 times 1. The answer will be 12. Okay, so in division, the 12 must be in front. Okay. So we do the question number two. Twelve divide twelve times two equals to twenty-four. So twenty-four must be in front, the twelve must be in the middle, and the two must be in the behind one. Terbalik saja sebenarnya. Tenang sangat. Okay. Thirty-six must be in front, twelve must be in the middle, and the three must be in front. Tak percaya, buka timetable awak, awak boleh tengok. Okay, you can look at your timetable. Okay, so that's all for today. Now, I will give you an assignment you must do in a quizzes.
the mark will be given after you all answer all question that given. Okay, thank you for today.